Hi, welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placements. Please subscribe for our channel to get the latest updates about Oracle Cloud, financials, supply chain management, and human capital management, as well as the technical and integrations part. Okay, so and we are providing the training and as well as the placement. We are based out in Hyderabad. So this session, I'm going to explain you what are the different uh, types of uh, human capital management employment models we have. It is one of the important question in the interviews. Regularly, they will be asking us, what are the different types of employment models we have? Where do we set up those employment models? Okay, so we are working with employment models in HCM, human capital uh, management. Let me go to the application, go to navigator, setup and maintenance. Employment model is nothing but a combination of three components, work relationship, assignment, as well as the employment terms, employment terms. We'll be configuring the employment model at enterprise level or legal entity level. Let me show you. Go to the task, manage, price, uh, CM information. While working with manage enterprise at CM information, here, go to manage enterprise. It won't ask you the scope because uh, we will be having only one enterprise. We don't find uh, multiple enterprises in the application. Within the enterprise, we'll find multiple legal entities, multiple business units, multiple inventories like this, right? Here, uh, very important setups we'll be doing over here at enterprise level or at legal entity level. This is employment model. We have mainly two types, two tier and three tier. In two tier, again, different versions. And three tier, we have different versions. Okay. Two tier employment model is nothing but combination of two components. One is, we are going to have, let me open this not bad. Two tier employment model is nothing but combination of work relationship and assignment. Three tier is nothing but combination of three components. Assignment and work terms. Work terms. Okay. So whenever we are implementing fission applications to the client, human capital management will interact with the client. Whether you want to go with two tier employment model or three tier employment model, then definitely they will ask us what is meant by two tier and what is meant by three tier. Whenever the organization is trying to hire an employee, that is what we call it as a work relationship. Nothing but relationship between the worker and legal employer. We call it as work relationship. It may be an employee or contingent worker or non-worker. And obviously when we hire an employee, we'll have as an assignment. Nothing but a set of information which will combine the job, position, grade, location, department, manager, office timings. This is all information. We will call it as assignment information. We can have either one assignment or multiple assignments. Okay. So whenever we are going to have a, a implementation, these two components mandatory, whether it is two tier or three tier. But if the client wants to implement the work terms, work terms, whenever they wanted to implement, then we will be using the three tier employment model. So that's the first thing we have to go for it. Whenever the client says that, I would like to have employment terms. Work terms is nothing but like employment terms. Whenever we want to have an employment term, then three tier employment model we will suggest. But most of the clients will go for two tier employment model with multiple assignments. With multiple assignments. If at all client would like to have, I want multiple assignments as well as the employment terms also, then we will suggest three tier employment model here. We are going to suggest three tier employment model. Here it is. Okay. So if they ask us, tell me what is meant by employment model and what are the different types we have and which employment model you have implemented in your experience and how you can suggest to your client which employment model will be suitable for their business. Obviously, as a functional consultant, we are supposed to analyze or understand the client's business and we have to suggest. Okay. 
So we have to say that employment model is basically components of uh, three work relationship assignment and uh, employment terms. We have two types of employment model, two tier and three tier. Two tier is nothing but combination of two components, work relationship and assignment. Three tier means three work relationship assignment and work terms. These three we have and depends on the requirement. If client is looking for employment terms, then we will suggest a three tier employment model. And if client looking for multiple assignments are allowed, yes, one employee I would like to utilize as a project manager and also as a pre-sales manager, I would like to utilize uh, this employee for multiple assignments, then we can go ahead with the uh, uh, multiple assignments options here, okay? And we can say that in our experience, we have uh, configured two tier multiple assignments without having any employment terms, or we can say, uh, three tier single employment terms and multiple assignment. So this, uh, any one of this option, we can say that we have implemented for our client. The reason why we selected for two tier multiple assignment is very simple. Now the client wants to go for multiple assignments without having any, without having any employment terms. They don't want employment terms. So we suggested two tier with multiple assignment. Now here it is, let's say single employment term with multiple assignment. One client has, required, has expected that they would like to have an employment term and also have multiple assignments. So we have suggested this, okay? So this we can configure at enterprise level. Within the enterprise, you can have either one legal entity or multiple legal entity, right? You can have either one legal entity or multiple legal entity, right? So you can go for change for a particular legal entity here. You can go for change for a particular legal entity here. Let me show you at employer legal entity level also we can go for change this. Let's go for manage uh, legal entity. At CM information. The moment when we choose manage legal entity at CM information, uh, if we look at here, it is asking us choose your legal entity name, name of the legal entity here. Choose this. Let's say US one legal entity we are working here. this legal entity. The moment when we choose legal entity here, we can find here legal employer details here. Employment model. This is high priority. In case if the employment model is configured at enterprise level as legal entity level, the high priority is legal entity level. If you don't assign at legal entity level, then it will consider at the enterprise level. If we have specified at the both levels, high priority is legal entity level, okay? So this is how we can uh, go for answer the question and in the, when the interview point of view, what is employment model, types of employment models, and uh, where exactly we'll configure the employment models, at what levels, and which one is high priority, these all options, okay? Thank you. Subscribe for our channel to get the latest updates about the cloud and suggest if somebody is trying for a job and placement in Oracle Cloud Technologies and we are ready to place and we are based out in Hyderabad. Thank you.